It's Nick's Psychotronic History of Sci-Fi. As I said, Robert A. Heinlein was considered one of the big three during this period, though he had the distinction of selling many stories to mainstream magazines, breaking through to the other side in much the same way Ray Bradbury did. Heinlein was known for his somewhat juvenile stories, as well as his great titles, like Red Planet, Have Spacesuit, Will Travel, and The Rolling Stones. No, not those Rolling Stones. He wanted to get out of kids' work and do more mature work, and his major transition novel was probably Starship Troopers. He retained enough of that childish adventure, as well as having the writing style he was known for, but was infused with many adult themes of militarism and even accused of propagating fascism. It's about a young boy who joins the Space Marines, one of the first usages of that term, and fights an army of alien insects across the universe, going through the ranks and eventually becoming a career man. It popularized the idea of powered armor, the notion of a mechanized suit that can enhance someone's movements and abilities, later used in countless movies and video games like Halo, Metroid, even the suit Iron Man wore can be attributed to this novel. Like I said, it had many notions of a fascist society that worships the military in combat. Long passages are devoted to a disciplinistic morality that the troops have to undergo, as well as a discussion as to why violence can solve everything. When I was 13 and I first read this novel, I loved it, identifying with a lot of its messages of growing up and taking on responsibility, but it hasn't really aged well and I find it to be somewhat extreme for its subject matter. Still, if you want a good look at the future of combat, or really just interested in military fiction, it's probably worth the price of the minutes.